Icky to me. So how was your trip? Oh, it's good to be back. Yuri, could I have a word? My wife and I uh, need to be away for a few days. You and boy Bobby are taking separate vacations these days? No, no, he had a business trip, so the little sweetie bought me a plane ticket home to see my family. I was hoping that you could uh, mind the plants while we're gone. No mail in four days. Oh, boy Bobby picked it up earlier. He's back? Since yesterday. Oh. Yuri, please, could we just... Uh... Is that my newspaper? Carl Lizzo Wainwright. Carlisle. About my place. Okay, sure. When do you get back? Next week. Great. All right. Have a good trip. Bobby! Bobby! <laughs> God, I missed you. Mm. I thought you weren't getting back until... I know, I know. It's a long story. How was Regina? Mm, it wasn't any fun mm. without mm. you. Ditto, kookaburra, ditto. Oh, wait. <laughs> I saw this and I thought of you right away. You saw this and you thought of me. Oh, you don't like it? No, I love it. That I totally get it. Really? Yeah, it's really cool. Mm. We can hang it in the bedroom. Mm. Listen, I was so busy with work in Duluth, I didn't have time to do any shopping. That's okay. I wasn't expecting anything. Oh, you're such a jerk. <laughs> Gift numero uno. Oh. Oh, Bobby, is that what I think it is? Mm. Not too little, Bobby. Oh. You ready? Just a sec. Those eyes better be closed. Okay. And for gift number two, follow my voice. <laughs> oh, oh, Bobby, these feel like silk sheets. Oh, these are silk sheets. <laughs> Only the finest in all of Duluth. Everyone knows that Trinity is number one in the Northwest for church-related supplies. That's why people deal with us. We're safe and reliable. Who the hell has even heard of the Tabernacle people? It's a joke. So the deal's off? Oh, we'll see. I just feel bad for Sasha. This was supposed to be her big break, and the whole thing fell through. Sasha? The one with the overbite? She doesn't have an overbite. Yeah, and the kind of one big eyebrow. I hadn't noticed. Anyway, it's gonna be a gloomy day in the office, let me tell ya. I'm gonna get there, everybody's gonna be moping. 
We've been working on this, and Tabernacle comes in out of nowhere. They don't even... They don't even have a rep. I mean, I don't... Don't get me started, okay? Mm. What's the matter? Nothing. Okay. Mm. Bobby? Have you seen a, uh, what? A sock, a white one? One white sock? Yeah. Are you married? You have a girlfriend? You're single. No, I, 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 I kind of have a girlfriend. Let me tell you something about women. They hate white socks. You can never fully trust a man who owns white socks. I only have a couple pairs. Wow. What a day. How was yours? Anything interesting? Only three people signed up for my extra jive class, so they canceled it. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, Bobster. Everyone in this dumb town does yoga. You know, or Pilates, or whatever the hell it's called. Mm -hmm. They're out fucking kayaking whoa, whoa. or rock climbing. Easy, kookaburra. So listen, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is the Duluth deal is back on. The bad news is that I have to catch a red eye back there tonight. Oh. It's just for a day or two, though. Who's going? I don't know. Uh, the usual people? Like? Like Mitch Warner, Jimmy, Charlie, you know, the usual suspects. And Sasha? Yeah, and Sasha. Hey, Bobby, uh, where are the sheets? In the wash. Oh, how come? Because I'm washing them. Sure, but why? I don't know. You tell me. Well, I don't know, Bobby. You're the one who's washing them. Exactly. What are we talking about? Nothing. Nothing. Go. Go pack for your business trip. Okay. I'll go pack then. Yeah, it's me. I'm on my way. Sleeping? Darling, it's nearly midnight here. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I always forget that the time goes forward there. I know you do, sweetie. How was your flight? It was fine. Except they charge five bucks for a can of beer. Is everything okay? Do you want me to wake your father? No, 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 no. I'll try you back again tomorrow. All right, honey. Just remember, two hours forward. I will. Bye. Why do we come up this 
Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's more romantic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Exactly look like your apartment. I'm subletting. Oh. Yeah. Bedroom? That away. Would you like another? Yeah. You betcha. Hey, the last one didn't have a little umbrella in it. So you're from the prairies. Born and bred. And you moved out here all by yourself. I uh, know, with my husband. <laughs> Go and see you're, you're married. Yeah. Fourteen months. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Six months ago, he got this big dumb job. <laughs> so we moved to this big dumb city. And uh, what's he do? Mm. Sells goblets and shit, I don't know. He's on a business trip now. Well, you must be very lonely. Let me see your shop. Nice. What figures? Look. You want a little company? We can go back to my place. Yeah, you probably do yoga, too. No, I do Pilates. Everyone in this town is so up their ass. Big city fucker. Good luck with that. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, how much are these cactuses? Cacti? Huh? Eight ninety-nine. Okay, um. I'll get that one. That's how it's all over you. She really likes your sunglasses. Oh, I got these in Regina. Cookie, it's so sad your fan jeans up. Don't so mind her. She just moved here from Hong Kong to ruin our lives, right, Grandma? Hong Kong, you are. You call me here. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> 
creep, huh? Really? I mean, really. I know this guy in 209, and he saw Yuri in the hallway with some company. <laughs> so? You know, like a hooker or a hoe. Then they went into an apartment down the hallway. But Yuri doesn't even live on the second floor. Exactly. He's got master keys to every apartment. Look, you do the math. Come on, Bobby. Open up. I know you're in there. How do you know that? Well, I didn't, but I know now. Come on, baby. Open up. Don't call me baby. Yeah, okay, whatever. So you gonna let me in? Yuri, I'm about to ask you a very important question. Yes? Have you ever been in my apartment? I can think of one not too long ago visit. No, I mean when I wasn't here. Have, have you ever used my apartment? What are you getting at? Well, I think that I might have some evidence that you've been doing what I think you've been doing in my apartment, in my bed. And what evidence is that? And you know, if, if you're not careful, I think that I, I might post a notice about what I think you've been doing, not just in my apartment. Wait. I think that you need to be careful, too, because I have something that I can post about you. Well, th then, I think we should both be careful. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I'll see you later. You talking to me? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. <laughs> hey, boy Bobby. Mm. Hey, Yuri. Welcome back. Thanks. You'll be pleased to know the pressure is back. What pressure? The water pressure. It's good and hard again. I fixed it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thanks. I, I had to go up to your apartment and do a lot of banging. Tell your wife I hope I didn't disturb her. I'll do that. This is amazing. You're too much, do you know that? Oh, well, what can I say? I missed you. I'm sorry, Kookaburra. No, I am. What do you have to be sorry for? I don't know. <laughs> I just am. Oh, me too. And you know how I hate arguing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, it stinks. So, now we get to make up. Yeah. I got you something. Okay, you first. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's the thought, right? <laughs> Here. I saw them in a window display. They were the last ones in stock. I had to beg the guy to sell them to me. <laughs> you like them? I love them. Making up is so much better than fighting. Yeah. I'll be right back. I just have to go take a dump. Okay.
Hey, you know, your gym, it doesn't advertise your classes properly. Yeah, maybe. You need to find a gym that appreciates your talents. Uh-huh. What happened to the sheets? They're splotchy. Bobby? Yeah, Bobby?